for going through security. We're in Chicago Midway Airport. It's almost 7.30 and our flight leaves at 11.30. So we're gonna be here for a hot ass minute. Wyndham Garden Miami International Airport Hotel. And I think this is a two queen room. So let me show you real quick. My ears are still a little bit wonky. So if I'm whispering, I do apologize in advance. All right, so first, um, it looks like to me, there's no toilet. That's what it looks like to me. So, oh, the toilet's right there. You have to open this door. Okay, okay, that's kind of fancy. And then shower on the other side. That's cool. Is there like a light? Ah, that's really cool. It's like really muggy in here, y'all. So we're gonna try to find the AC unit situation. A little coffee bar and place to hang your stuff. They have water. Now is the water free? Mm, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have a price, so it's possible. And then the bed. Oh, it has a little door so you can kind of close this up. That's kind of cool. Look how nice and clean this looks. What is this? They have a bar and restaurant, which I think we should try because the neighborhood didn't really look that walkable to me. Oh, this is off. So that's what we need to turn on. All right. And let's see. Phone, the TV, the lamp. That's a really fancy lamp. I kind of want that in my house. And what do we see out the window? Oh, the pool. The pool looks a little cut off. Look at that. Oh, I'm excited. This is actually very, very clean, very comfortable. And then we got this mini fridge here. And then that's the end of that. We're gonna probably take a breather real quick. I'm gonna, I need some ibuprofen. Y'all, the way that that air, that airplane, airport, whatever you want to call it, that air pressure, everything. Terrible, terrible, terrible. So I am not in the greatest mood, but I am excited. So I'm going to set y'all down. We're going to figure out what we're doing next. We'll probably get some food. I'm going to change because I am in a full sweatsuit right now. But it was comfortable outside. Like, it wasn't too hot. It wasn't muggy. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's hotter in the room than it is outside. I went to go finish the check-in and do the health questionnaire and I got this express boarding situation. Uh, does anybody know if that's normal? I don't know if, if, if that's even special, to be honest with you. Fast, fast lane sounds fun to me. Why not? We're out here in Miami looking for some restaurant called Old Boy, Old Man, Old Troy. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I forgot that... Florida has a infestation, I'm gonna call it, of lizards. When I went to Jacksonville for a work trip, they were everywhere. Literally walking down the street, we saw at least 20 of them. They're scared of us, so I shouldn't be scared of them, but I am. I am. Are you? Sean's not scared of anything, so I, I don't even know why I ask that stupid ass question. How we get in? The front door right there. Right here or right there? Yeah, right here? You gotta go do it, I'm not doing it. Oh, shit. We're here at a sports bar, Sean, what did you get? I got a Philly cheesesteak. It looked pretty good. I was thinking I'm gonna get this big ass burger, but I feel like it's more for the show than it is for the taste. Mm. And it's gonna, de it would definitely be messy. So yeah, a Philly cheesesteak, like a Philly cheesesteak sandwich? Yeah. Um, hmm. I got nachos and mac and cheese. Well, we got nachos, but I got a side of mac and cheese because I felt like if I bought anything else or if I ordered anything else, it would be leftovers. And we're only going to be here for a singular night, so it's not really worth wasting the money. Let's hope that it's good. I like I like bar food. I love bar food, actually. I don't know how you feel about it. Bar food's good. It's just uh, a lot of times it's burgers. I'm just not a big fan of burgers. I love burgers. They're just, they're just not... 
plausible for eating. I wish Florida had an in and out because we would be there. Absolutely. Or Raising Cane's. Raising Cane's is nice. Uh, here are the nachos. We got the mac and cheese. It's really cheesesteak and fries. What do you want to taste first? I tried the fry. Do you want to try the fry? I can try a fry. It's a fry. I'll try the mac and cheese. I mean, it looks very, very cheesy. Very cheesy. Definitely different. Different. A different cheese in there. It's okay though. It's not terrible. It's just not what I was expecting. And I feel like they put hot sauce in it. These nachos look pretty damn good. All right. I'm gonna take. Good. I don't think I got the good part yet. How's your Philly cheesesteak? Not as cheesy as I was expecting, but it's pretty good. The same face every time, y'all. Every time. I'm gonna I'm gonna imitate Sean every time he has something that's like half decent. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. He'll go like this. He'll taste it. That's strong. That's a little bit too limey for me. Very, very limey. I really put the lime in key lime pie. Ooh. Wow, that is extremely sour. All right, team. Where's the other? Come over here. I don't have a microphone, but how did you feel about the food? What would you give it? Six point five. Six point five. I would have to agree. I would give it a 6.5. It was, it was okay. You know what? It fueled the body. Service was wonky, but you know what? I don't know what to expect in a bar, like a bar restaurant. Yeah. Like, you know, you know how there's restaurants with bars and then there's a bar that is also a restaurant. They're not the same thing. So the standards are a little bit different. Like you wouldn't have, it's not like a full service restaurant yeah. when it's a bar restaurant. So. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I, we were trying to be patient, but then at that at one point we just wanted to leave. We already had a plate stacked up. We, were, we wanted a key lime pie, we wanted a check, and we could not get a server over to get a check, so we had to grab somebody else. And then there was no pen. Then there was no pen after they got us to check in the key lime pie, so then we had to grab another person to ask them for the pen. Whole thing, but we're here, we're alive, we're, we're gonna make it on our cruise tomorrow. We're taking the Hotels cruise shuttle. It's fifteen dollars per person. I don't know if that's a good deal or not. I mean, I mean it's probably cheaper than Uber. Yeah, maybe. I'm, I'm a, not even gonna look at the Uber prices to be honest. If it's a thirty-minute drive. It's, Uber's gonna be at least like sixty bucks for Maybe, perhaps. But this is the end of this vlog. We're gonna shower. We're gonna put our clothes up for tomorrow, and we're gonna be boarding the Oasis of the Seas. <laughs> All right, y'all. See you in the next vlog. Say goodbye, Sean. Bye.